to my mom. I told her, ah, mommy, so so person said he likes me or he said he wants to bathe me or and all of that. And my mom was like, eh? <laughs> back to my youtube channel thank you for always coming back to view my videos thank you for the likes thank you for the comments and if this is your first time on this channel my name is show me christiana and you're welcome so my birthday is next monday and this video is dedicated to my birthday and please don't forget to wish me happy birthday in the comment section thank you very much i look forward to your comments in advance so in this video, I'll be wrapping up my series on love for the month of February. And today's video is going to be lessons I've learned so far. Because it's my birthday, I think I'm looking down the memory lane and I'm focusing on the relationship aspects, the lessons that I've learned. Like I stated earlier in my videos, or in one of my videos, I think on... Um, my breakfast story you can go back and check on the video i can drop the link somewhere above so in my breakfast story i mentioned that i started dating very early and i would like to share the lessons that i've learned since it's my birthday so i'll start from my first encounter with dating i think the first time i ever heard the word dating was when i was in gss3 and it was from my classmates and i was kind of confused because i was wondering dating are they going on date nights because that was the idea that i had for dating because of the novels that i had read at the point and then one of my classmates then in gs3 just told me that i ah, no, that's not what it means it means that maybe they love each other or they are seeing each other and i was like oh no wonder they were saying this person is dating this one they were saying this person is dating this one and then it sort of sunk into my subconscious and that was that about that and then in after gs3 the summer lesson before ss1 yes i was attending this summer lesson around the area and there was this boy that everybody was like after he's very funny he's handsome he's this is that i know all the ladies were like dreaming they all knew him from their secondary school he was their classmate but i had not met him before and then i was like what's special about this guy Okay, so when he came, he was handsome. Yeah, for that time, he was handsome. He still is very handsome now, though. By that time, he was really handsome compared to the other people that were in the class. And it happened that maybe our parents were kind of friends. And then we found out later along the line and we came kind of close. And then he would just see me off after lesson and all of that. And then one day, he just told me that eh, he likes me, can he date me? And I first heard the word dating just prior to that time which was gs3 maybe second time or third time and then in the holiday period which is like around august someone is asking me out and i'm like okay so because of my closeness with my mom i told her ah mommy so so person said he likes me or he said he wants to date me or and all of that and my mom was like eh he said he likes you he does not like you in that manner he does not like you at all anybody that is telling you that they like you at this time they just want to ruin your life they just want to do this they just want to do that and i was like hey i don't want my life to be spoiled though hey i cannot do this and then i just told him off i explained to him that i don't think it's the right time i don't know that then i was not ready and that was that about that and in the next okay then it was ss1 and ss1 first time i think all of the people close to me were in one kind of relationship or relationship or the other. At this time, I had understood what dating was. And then someone liked me. Who I knew liked me from GS3, but you know, I didn't understand the concept of dating, so I didn't really understand what was going on. And then he asked me out. So because my mom had warned me that I should not be, I should not do this, I should not do that, at that point, I didn't talk to her about it. I just kept it to myself. And I started dating him. It wasn't where I wanted was kind of like very troublesome you know it was playful and for me i was really reserved but you know everybody was doing it so and that is the number one thing please don't date because everybody is dating don't and i assumed because at that time i didn't even know what i wanted i just felt oh he's good he loves me and i love him too 
and then we were cool and then the, the, the time I realized that this guy is just too much okay I just broke up with him and then I was seeing someone else like two three months after or during about this person was actually calm and mature and he was able to like groom me for some things but because he was way older he was way smarter than I was and if he was doing any other thing I wouldn't have known so don't date someone because everybody is doing it also at a young age I would not advise you to date someone that is way older than especially someone that has that is like far above you maybe um you are in secondary school and the person is in the university or maybe you are in the university and the person is out of the university or maybe your emotions are not just enough at that time because you both don't have the same level of exposure and the person is is the person is bound to treat you or look at you with the level that you are so sometimes it puts you at a disadvantage also out like from my experience now we're not in the same environment i was in school he was not in school at the time and he was monitoring me asking me questions you know there was so much insecurity because the university is wide and then i can get to see a whole lot of people so he had to constantly i had to constantly reassure him and he had to constantly call me to, be, to make sure that he is in my face and then i'm not looking at anybody rather that helped me to keep to myself and all of that i wouldn't advise it for someone that is just going to the university to start out life fresh i would also like to state and this is my opinion i'm not enforcing it on anyone that i would advise that you you'd hold on to say you're in your third year in school because i believe that all the things that you have not known in your secondary school days your 100 level 200 level by the time you're in your 300 level you already have a picture of what you want in an ideal man or you want you already have a picture of what you have in an ideal woman that you want to maybe spend the rest of your life with well, there is no manual to these things. You can actually meet someone way before them that would eventually end up as your partner. But I'm saying that the higher percentage of relationships that happen in school, primary school, sorry, secondary school, university, it ends like while you're in the university, before you leave the university or after you leave the university. It doesn't just work because what you're exposed to in the university is not what the outside world will would expose you to and if the guy gets the exposure before the lady he sees that there's more to life he wants to do more he wants to work hard he wants to make money and then the lady is just there when i'm done you know i want to get married if you're not on the same page it starts to post as a tray and if it's for the lady now that you're still in school the man is already working he tends to be insecure about the ladies in his office and all of that so i would advise that if you can please wait till you are 18 before you even try to date because all the lessons that you will learn if that person is not the one you're getting married to you will learn lessons that will help you but if you start earlier like me you tend to have your heart broken like multiple times like even people that on you know they cannot even speak to you they will break your heart and they will shatter it and then they will give you back that like, okay you'll carry your heart i'm not doing it again i like it's just a lot but please from my own experience, I'll beg you. And if you have made a mistake, like dating someone early or dating people early, and then you made certain mistakes, because for me, I was able to still keep to myself because of the things that we were taught at home about how you have to keep yourself, how you have to, you know, protect yourself, how you have to be, you have to keep your bed on the field and all of that. So it sort of helped me and shaped my ideology because a lot of people started dating early and they didn't get away with it. Some I'm not passing judgment now, but some had to do um, abortions because they were not ready to be mothers. Some ended up with people that they wouldn't have even ended up with on a normal ground. Like a, a different things would have happened. Some had become wayward. Some had like maybe retraced their step. But not everyone is going to be lucky. Not everyone would have that second chance. So I'm begging you, if you have made this mistake, please talk to people around you. The young girls, speak to them. Let them know there's no benefit in these things. Once you start having sex, you cannot stop having sex. So the best bet is to stay away until you are ready. 
And as Christians, the Bible says that we should keep our beds undefiled. So the more reason why you should even try to wait till your wedding night. But if you even have to date at all, please, I think third year in the university, whether you are 18 or below, by the time you are in your third year in the university, I believe that your head must have opened, your eyes must have been cleared. And if you make any mistake, you will not make that same kind of mistake again in the nearest future. So, my homies, I hope that I have been able to share with you my experience and my thoughts on dating early or not. I'm sure that a lot of people might have other opinions and I would like to hear your opinions. So kindly leave a comment below. Kindly like my video to show YouTube that you are enjoying my content. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.